All right, hello again, uh, Mr. Taylor here. This is the very last of our um, rigid transformation and as well as the uh, lessons on um, lesson 12. So here we're at 12.4. Uh, we are doing uh, example three and looking at the algebraic representation of rotation. So let's just get right on in the meat of it and see what we have to do. You will have to find the vertices after a rotation, then graph the rotation and its image. So no new vocabulary in this particular lesson. When points are rotated about the origin, the coordinates of the image can be found using the rules in the table. We have looked, we have seen this, I, I know in my uh, uh, unpacking I actually uh, gave you these rules but it's good that the book has these rules available for us so let's see how how they match up so the book says if you're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise so what that's just telling us that if if we have um, a particular way we go let's just say that this is our our center and if we're going to rotate clockwise, we're going this particular way. Uh, remember what we said, if we are looking at the coordinate grid, that if we are here, then 90 degrees will be here. Uh, and so, and then we say that this would be uh, 180 this will be 270 so I just want you to make sure you keep these keep that in mind uh, then it says here if you're going to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise uh, oh I didn't even go and finish this up so I'm sorry 90 degrees clockwise you multiply each x coordinate by negative 1 then switch the x and y coordinates so here you have x comma y you multiply the x coordinates by negative 1 and then switch the position with y. Okay, so your y will become your x and your x will become your y. 90 degrees counterclockwise. So that means we will be, if we are here, we are going this particular way. So if we're going that particular way, it says multiply each y coordinate by negative 1 then switch the x and y coordinates. So here you will have a negative y comma x instead of x comma y. So again you're switching the coordinates. And then if you're going to go 180 degrees and 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 and, and I want you to look here again. If we're going 180 degrees and we are here, if we went 90 degrees here and then from here we went another 90 degrees this will give us our 180. So that's clock counterclockwise. But if we here going clockwise and we do 90 degrees and then come again 90 degrees, we'll still wind up in this same spot. So that's why the author's not telling us to go clockwise or counterclockwise because you're going to wind up in the same spot. Okay. Uh, so here it says you multiply both x and y by a negative one, and you don't switch them. All right, let's see, can we jump in this thing pretty good before our 15 allotted minutes are up, according to this new program I'm trying to use. So here, the authors say we have quadrilateral A, B, C, and D, and they have vertices uh, A of negative 4, comma 2, B of negative 3, comma 4, C, 2, comma 3, and D, 0, 0. So it says find the vertices of quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime after a 90 degree clockwise. So remember, you're going to be going back to your left. So let's go and quickly and look at what the rules say. The rules say for 90 degrees. Oh, and I went the wrong way, didn't I? I sure did. So we'll have to go back over here and make this this nice little correction. It's not going to hurt us that bad. Uh, just don't tell anybody. Uh, but anyway, uh, 
the rules says that if we're going clockwise, we multiply each x coordinate by negative one, then switch x and y. So let's see how how the author attacked this. So he says, okay, here's our rule should be y comma negative x. So let's multiply first. So we got a negative four times a negative one. That's going to give us a positive four. So now we switch these two. So once we get that, we'll switch these two and it'll become two comma four instead of four comma two. Little, you know, confusing at first. But if you just keep the rules handed up next to you on your little card, as I was instructing you earlier, you'll be okay. So here, B, uh, B coordinates is a negative 3, 4. First thing we want to do is multiply X by a negative 1. It's going to give me a positive 3. And then you switch them. So now this will be prime will become 4, 3. Okay. Multiply first, then switch them. Well, C is 2, comma 3, so multiply the x value, which is 2, by negative 1. It becomes a negative 2, and then it changes places with y. So it becomes 3 becomes x, x becomes y, and you wind up with 3, comma negative 2. Then, of course, 0 times anything is 0, so our order pairs stay at 0, 0. Okay. Take your locations for your pre-image, put those on your graph, then your location for your image, put those on your graph, and here's what you come up with. Right? Notice that it rotated around D. D stayed where it was. So here's your A, B, C, and D. So you're going 90 degrees. So A and B both moves out of quad two into quad one. Now notice C is in quad one, so 90 degrees moving left will put it in uh, quad four. And of course D stays at the origin. So it looks good. All right, let's see what you have to do. Okay, question three asks us to uh, really think about how would you find the vertices of an image if a figure was rotated 270 degrees clockwise and asks us to explain. I guarantee you, if you went back to your notes that I gave you when we were in uh, uh, 12, you, you, you see that answer. But anyway, I know you can do the math and figure that out. Then it asks us to, if you have a triangle with vertices uh, J, K, L, which is a negative 2, comma, negative 4, 1, comma, 5, and 2, comma, 2, it asks us what are the coordinates of the vertices of the image after it is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, go ahead and stop it. Please write this down or work in your book and then uh, come back and we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, so what is telling us that if we're going 270 degrees counterclock or uh, clockwise rotation is the same as a 90 degree uh, counterclockwise rotation? I want you to see this. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna. Uh, well, actually, oh, yeah, I can. So if I want to draw me a miniature coordinate grid here. Doing it live. Living color. Took that from somebody. Okay, so here, if we are going... Uh, 90 degrees. So let's hypothetically say that we have a point, or we have part of a, a point that's here. So if I'm going to go 270 degrees uh, clockwise, so that means I'm going to go from here to here, which is 90, 
and then from here to here, which is 180, and then I'm going to go from here to here, which is 270. Okay, this is where I begun, so now let's just put the pre right here. I'm going to put PI for pre-image. So this is where I started. Now, if I want to go, and then remember, we went clockwise. So we went this way. This is clockwise. So if I wanted to go counterclockwise, let me see, can I change the color here? So if I wanted to go counterclockwise, 90 degrees, I'm going to start here, and I'm going this way, 90 degrees. So if I went 90 degrees there, notice it is the same as 270 degrees. And that's counterclockwise, 90 degrees, the same as 270 degrees. So this is uh, where we uh, came up with that. And again, you're just switching the signs of the Y coordinates that's going to put you there. All right, looking at the time. So here it says a triangle has vertices uh, negative two, four, and then we're trying to determine well where do we where do we go from there in order to uh, if it's rotated ninety degrees counterclockwise. So let's run back to the rules right quick. If I can get back there and see what do the rules say if we're going ninety degrees. Uh, counterclockwise. So 90 degrees counterclockwise mm, is uh, multiply the y coordinates and then switch x and y. Alright, so let's go back. So here we are 90 degrees uh, you uh, multiply or change the sign of the y coordinates. So here we are looking at uh, the original is 2, negative 2, negative 4. So what we'll do is we'll take J and we will take uh, this negative 2, leave it alone, switch it, so it becomes uh, actually my new Y and I take my negative 4 times 1 times a negative 1 and that's going to give me this okay let's find a different color here and let's take a K so with K what I'm looking at with K K is 1 5 so what I'm going to do is take my Y coordinates which is 5 and I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. So I have negative 1 times 5. That's the same as just changing the sign, guys. And here, my 1 changes to my y, and it stays the same. And a negative 1 times 5, uh, is that, that should be a negative. So that's going to give me a negative 5 and 1. All right, last one that we need to look at is we have 2, 2. Well, that's pretty easy right there. Only thing you're going to do is, since they're easy, you really don't have to worry about switching. They're both the same. You just take L and uh, multiply by negative 1. So then that's going to give you a negative 1 times 2, comma, 2. And that's going to give you a negative 2 comma 2. All right. This is Mr. Taylor, and I'll talk to you soon.